Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and we are discussing today why Cavaliers are great for first time dog owners. So it's been a while since we've done a sit down video and to be honest with you it's really been a dry spell for me creativity wise and to be honest I just didn't know what to film. I really wasn't feeling uh, creative or even inspired to do any videos so uh, the reason why I'm doing this video today is I really just got a spark of creativity yesterday and it really re-energized me to do these kind of sit down casual videos for you again because yesterday we did a clubhouse room for the first time with my friend Kara, Henry the Small's mom. Uh, her and I put together our first ever Cav Mom chat on Clubhouse and if you're unfamiliar with Clubhouse, it's a new social media app where it's a drop in audio kind of social media so it's it's something between a zoom and a conference call and a podcast it's all audio and we do, we're just able to connect with such amazing women and amazing cab moms from the community just the feedback from everything really it just re-energized me and revived this channel so i just had a little spark of creativity to create this video for you today so i hope you enjoy so on that same note i'd like to thank Kara for putting the clubhouse room with me yesterday. It, it's something I didn't know I needed to just feel creative again. So thank you. So the reason why I want to talk to you today about Cavaliers being great dogs for first time Cavalier owners is that yesterday on the clubhouse there was so many people dropping in and telling us that they got a Cavalier because of Herky and Milton and because of our videos. And I'm so thankful for that. And it just it's just very rewarding to know that the message that I send and that the content that I just put out there to just share my experience with Cavaliers is so well received and that I can share the Cavalier love and spread the Cavalier love with all of you. So it's just really fun to see that a lot of you are convinced by our videos that Cavaliers are such great dogs. Okay, so the first point I would like to talk about, about Cavaliers being such great dogs for first time dog owners. And these are just points that personally I find are particularly relatable because uh, Herky is my first dog, as you know, and I've just went into the whole dog mom and a dog parent thing with Herky being a Cavalier and I thought it was very I thought it was fairly easy to be honest so this is just based on my personal experience of course there's tons of other dogs that are highly suitable and great for first-time dog owners but uh, this is just gonna be based on my experience so the first thing to be honest is that I find Cavaliers are very easy to train and of course Everything I'm going to say here is generally speaking. Of course, you're going to have a little exceptions here and there. Your Cavalier might be harder to train because of the character and the, and the maybe they're more sassy than others. Um, so they're going to be a bit more hard headed. But in general, Cavaliers are highly easy to train because they are so eager to eat. And that again is a general thing. I know some people on Clubhouse yesterday said that their dogs are very picky with food, which can't relate. Never heard of that. Herky and Milton are so food driven, so incredibly food driven that they are extremely easy to train. And I say that because, for example, um, today when we came down to the studio to film, I just pulled down the backdrop like this and Herky and Milton ran into here and they placed themselves in this bed and they were ready to film. If you remember our older videos, um, they were a bit more excited when uh, we I started to film and the more you do something, the more they get used to it. So Cavaliers, dogs love routine and especially Cavaliers are all about the routine. They're very easy to keep on the same track. So again, very easy to train. Uh, food driven, so it makes it uh, easy to reward them and to make them do a certain thing over and over again. But yeah, they just love to do something for treats and they just know what it means. So Herky and Milton have always been trained to take photos and do videos. So they're very used to the fact that once there's a camera, when there's the lights, when there's studio backdrops, that they go into position to work. 
it's like a conditioning that happens. I don't have to give them treats each time. Like I didn't give them a treat to go lie down like this, but they are just trained and used to doing this. So that's something I really love about Cavaliers. The second point I would like to bring about why Cavaliers are such great dogs for first time dog owners is that they have such a calm temperament. Like you see how they are most of the time, they are just like this. They are very calm in the house. It's very rare that they're gonna be like ultra rambunctious in the house. Usually when they're going to be most excited is when we go outside before meal times. Um, for Milton, it's kind of an exception, but she gets like the midnight zoomies. So late at night, she always has a little time frame where she has to play ball and she gets like really, really excited. But that could also be referring to my previous point that they're very easy to train. Like she remembers that each night she has to play. So it could be a routine as well. But generally speaking, they are very calm dogs and they are super chill in general. This is what they'll do all day every day and I love it. Third point about why Cavaliers are so great for first time dog owners is that they get along with everybody. So if you are a young family, if you are a single woman or a single man or if you're a retired couple or if whatever the case may be, Cavaliers are great to add to your family because they get along with kids, they get along with teenagers, they get along with uh, elderly people, they get along with everybody and Cavaliers are also um, frequently used as therapy dogs because they're so calming and just so loving. So there's no really age group that is particularly fitting for Cavaliers. They go well with everybody's lifestyle and age group. And this point brings me very well to my next point, which is the fact that they are highly adaptable. So whether it's an age group or whether it's your lifestyle, Cavaliers will take what you give them. And this is a point that Georgia mentioned in the clubhouse yesterday and I thought that is extremely true. And I do mention it from time to time, but Cavaliers are just, they're so chill, okay? Like we try to walk them every day. In the winter, they walk maybe for 30 to 45 minutes per day. But on days where it's minus 30 or it's heavily raining or just it's too hot outside, they'll take a smaller walk and it'll be fine. Like on some days where you just don't feel like walking, they'll just be fine doing this all day as well, which is so incredibly nice. They're not the type of dog that absolutely need their two hours of walk per day. They're not an ultra high energy dog that absolutely needs their energy being dispensed every day. So it's also really nice to know that if you're not feeling well or if the weather doesn't permit, they don't need to go outside for an ultra long walk, which is very reassuring. They are also highly adaptable in the sense that hi. They are also highly adaptable in the sense that whether you live in a condo or in a house or in a ranch or wherever the case may be, you lucky people that live on a ranch, they will adapt very well. I've had Herky for almost seven years. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's almost seven, you guys. This is like literally heartbreaking. But I've had Herky for almost seven years now and she's always lived in a condo and she adapts super well. Even if uh, we were in a bigger house or in a smaller in a smaller place like we do right now, uh, Cavaliers do great. They don't need a lot of space and and they just do well with whatever the environment that they are given. <laughs> and last point that I would like to talk about today is that Cavaliers are literally love sponges. Like you guys know, look at how cuddly Herky is right now. And Herky is not a cuddly cavalier like Milton. Milton is my ultimate lap dog. You guys know that. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's at Herky the Cavalier. We update there on the daily. So if you want daily updates of Herky and Milton, please go follow us on Instagram. But you probably know from following us on Instagram that Milton is always, always glued to me. She is like my ultimate cavalier. Like, bless Herky. I love her with all my heart. She's my first cavalier, so she'll always have like the most extra special place in my heart. But Milton is like textbook cavalier to me. She is always on my lap. She's always following me. She's literally a shadow. And if you know that video called what it's like to have a cavalier, which is one of our most popular videos on our channel of all time, you see that they just follow me everywhere all the time. Like that's what's really heartbreakingly, heartbreakingly cute and adorable about cavaliers is that they literally love you so much. They follow you everywhere all the time. Like literally when Andy or I where, when, when Andy or I, when Andy or myself, we go to take out the trash and just go to put it in the trash chute, it's like the end of the world. Like they look at us leave and they're like, 
it's like heartbreaking and then when you come back they're so incredibly happy so it's really really cute how much they love you but it's also very sad how much they love you so this is going to be my five points my five main points of why cavaliers are so great for first-time dog owners but if you would like a follow-up on this is probably going to be next week's video i'm going to do a five reasons why cavalier five cons of cav ownership let's call it that so we're going to do the five pros today the five top reasons and the five points that would make you maybe not want to consider cavalier or the cons pros and cons let's call this the pros and cons so i hope you enjoyed this video today it was uh i guess shorter than our last video which um, thank you for all the comments on our last video. By the way, it was our March break staycation in Montreal. If you missed it, I'm going to link it right up here for you to watch. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I just feel uh, revived to make more content and new content for you. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting us. As always, we love you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye, girls.